Our time in California has certainly been one to remember. From pow days at Alpine Meadows to park days at Big Bear, we've had a taste of just about everything during our two week stay. We've recently been at Mammoth Mountain and for our second full day here, we explore a new area of this great resort. squad welcome back to another episode of season three it's like kind of like day two and a half here at mammoth um i came to another parking lot just below the main area and there are so many vans in this parking lot i don't think i've ever seen this many vans in one area they have leveling blocks set up the rvs have like their pads out like for no overnight parking these vans made themselves very comfortable <laughs> You know it's this morning before we get started number one um i went back and tallied up my ski days because i was honestly lost count i was unsure where i was at and today is my 41st day of skiing so i'm kind of bummed that i missed uh missed day 40 but uh what a way to celebrate it the on chair 23 at mammoth number two i've had an issue with my heater again of it um having a fuel issue and this is what i what I boiled it down to because the heater was running great before then. And I think this is important for people in diesels specifically. You know, I was down in San Diego, down Southern California, and I was filling up with fuel. Long story short, I think the fuel down there, I, I, I'm pretty positive the fuel wouldn't be treated for cold weather stuff like you have up here in the mountains. So I filled about half a tank from fuel up here in Mammoth last night and the heater ran all night and it's still on now. And it was down in like negative five last night. So. Just something to keep in mind that the fuel up in these mountain towns are typically treated to help with cold weather stuff. So exciting stuff. Day 41 on the hill might even get 45 days before Christmas, which would just be bonk. Kind of a sweet way to get up the mountain. I think I took Stump Alley Express and it basically dropped me off right at the like bottom of chair 23. But the thing I'm gonna focus on the backside chair 14 today and go through some of the other spots you guys recommended just to try to get as much as I can out of my time here. But you could literally spend all season on 23 and I think it would be a blast. So this has become one of my top mountains I've ever been to. Definitely gonna make it a point to come out here more often, explore it. I'd love to check out the town more and everything, but yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. Check that out right there. That is all, that's all debris it's of a slide of some sort. We skied this yesterday and this was not here, so. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. This all broke off the top here. And that was the debris we saw. Like that is a rift right to the rocks. We skied this yesterday. No joke, we skied right across this and down. I wonder if like the cornice broke off and that happened? I have no idea, but that is, that's pretty gnarly, dude. Wow. This is like out of a freaking movie. Lots of homies up here though.
I came to an area called the Hemlocks off of Chair 14. Looks like a fun area. However, it is hike to terrain, but it looks kind of like a cat track. So in terms of footing, first glance, it seems pretty chill, but you never know until you actually do it. So I'm gonna pop the Elks off, start walking to explore the Hemlocks. This is definitely probably one of the easier hikes that we've done in terms of lap ability. It only takes maybe five, ten minutes at the most. And they were doing like um, a mock competition up here. It looks like the mammoth like freestyle or big mountain team. But uh, I think we're ready to drop. I'm gonna try to do one with just like a lot of vert this time. Get a feel for the area. But it looks pretty rad. It's in the shade, so maybe the snow will still be pretty soft. But stoked. Run number two up here in the hemlocks. I saw this shoot from the chair and it seemed like it was kind of one of the most vertical and steepest ones. So I'm gonna try to ski it one-handed with a six foot selfie stick, but looks pretty sweet. Here we go. Snow is great. When I'm using the selfie stick, oh, that's an example of where it's no good. Holding the pole, such a bummer. Oh, it's so soft. What a great little shot that was. Love the snow elks. Free stuff like this. Oh, almost got zooted, but can't let the feet get up from under you. That was fun. Now we can kind of let it open up a bit. Here, here. Back to the left. The skier's left side, I think it's gonna be a lot more cliffy. A little bit less vert, but be fun. Let's 
see what we got. found ourselves back up at the top of, I don't really know what this area is called, the paranoid stuff. Just gonna do one of these to keep us humble, one for good measure here. firmer right now. Oh, that was like a roller coaster coming down on that one. I can't see. Oh, that was sick. Very nice to meet you. You too, man. Cool. Thanks, you man. Nice to meet you, man. You too, buddy. Later. Have a good one. All right. So for our final run here, we are ripping right underneath the gondola. Oh, look at these rocks. It's crazy. Kind of doing like a true top to bottom. And I figured we can just chill, talk about some stuff while we do it. I think I'm cliffed out. Oh, no, we're not cliffed out. We're just very, very close to being cliffed out. This to this to this to this. Pretty nice, how it's so loaded. Oh. 
So yeah, you're never cliffed out until you're cliffed out. don't want to leave this place it's so beautiful the way the light works here because in the morning you get like this really nice light on the mountains but then you also get a really nice evening alpine glow in the distance so and that probably explains why every clip i've seen of mammoth just looks so divine it's like we got a nice groomy golden hour groomy like let's get any better Nothing like you ripping groomies on the 116, my friends. Dude, this is like a ski racer in front of me. Absolutely smoke me. I gotta slow up to make it look like I'm not trying. Wow, this run is filled with homies. Ski racer, ski racer, ski racer. It's icy we do short turns. Oh now it's wind blowing. I haven't done enough short turns today. Slow down, slow down. Slow it down. Wow. What a great top to bottom run that was. Dinner. We had a nice fresh filet of salmon here. I have like these stuffed portobello mushrooms with spinach and mozzarella cheese. And then I have a nice little salad here. So change it up big time. But today was honestly super sick. Um, it's one of my favorite days are like having a lappable, hikeable piece of terrain. Like to be able to have a hike, but it's not like a super long hike. Um, just makes for a lot of fun. And I think that zone, particularly the hemlocks, it was a very like freestyle orientated zone, very creative, playful. Um, it was it was super steep, but it also had a lot of trees a lot of cliffs and rocks So it really forced you to be to sort of flex a, a few different skill sets while skiing And I think it was actually a good zone for people who might be looking To get into double black terrain because the way you can work that face it can be You know a little bit mellow and shorter vertical or if you really want to be aggressive you can go off the top um, and have more vertical and more pitch and stuff like that so it just blows me away at how much i spent two whole days and i feel like all i did was chair 23 a little bit of chair nine and the hemlocks and literally it was like nine hours of skiing so just super rad so i hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure so sick so much fun um thanks for watching us you guys in the next episode take it easy fam Peace out.